What's going on guys? So today I have a uh, carnivore club unboxing. I don't always uh, post these uh, videos. Occasionally I'll post it on uh, Instagram, um, but I figured today I'd just make a video on it. Oh, by the way, today's EDC is the Crooked River, which is uh, from Benchmade. Very cool knife. Right? It's like a little modern axis lock, but kind of an old style look. So, let's see what we got here. Um, Brush Creek Farm and Think Jerky. I've had stuff from Think Jerky before. All right, so those are the artisans, and here's what's inside, but we're just going to go ahead and take a peek. So Think, grass-fed beef jerky. This one is sesame teriyaki. All right, 2.2 gram bag. Very cool. All right, and we have another bag of Think Jerky, grass-fed classic flavor. All right, looks like just garlic, chive, and pepper. All right. We have another one, sweet chipotle. Ooh, raspberry chipotle, that is a fantastic combination. So, I'm looking at these because now that I am on a pretty strict diet and everything, I'm counting uh, carbs and looking at sugars and all that stuff and calories and whatnot. Meat overall is okay for lower carb, but when you have flavored meat like beef jerky, in this case it's sweet. This has six grams of carb for one ounce. It's a two ounce bag, right? 2.2 ounces. So just over 12 grams of carbs for the whole bag, uh, but I wouldn't eat a whole bag in one sitting anyway. So that is okay uh, for me. Let's compare that actually real quick just to the original, which is, oh, the original has more. Original is seven grams of carbs and seven grams of sugar. This is seven, six grams of carbs and six grams of sugar. That's interesting. I would think the sweet one would be more. And this one's seven and seven. So just uh, smaller portions, that's all. And then we have some meat sticks here. I love some meat sticks. All right, so this is all Brush Creek Farm. So barbecue beef, all right, with barbecue seasoning on here. Now this is something I might have to go on the website to actually see because it doesn't seem like they have nutritionals or nutritional you know facts on here. It just has ingredients. All right, so barbecue. We have an original beef. All right, made in the USA. All these. All right, good by dates, 11.02.20, so they're all good, obviously. Um, this one is another original. Did I just have an original? Yeah, so we got two originals, a barbecue, and another barbecue. All right, so two and two. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try a little bite of the original, and I'm going to try a little piece of this as well All right, for the video here. So the smell. It smells like beef. Actually, you know what it smells like? It smells super smoky. Like, you know that time of year when it's starting to get chilly and you know you got a neighbor down the street or maybe you are you are the neighbor and you start your first wood fire and it's going out your chimney and kind of blowing around the neighborhood. That's what it smells like. A little smoky, a little meaty, and some beef. So here we go. That is really, really good. I gotta watch out though because a lot of these always have a lot of salt. All right, so I gotta check out the, uh, the sodium levels as well. But that is fantastic. All right, so now let's try this uh, thing. Sweet Chipotle. Sounds delicious. All right. So it's like some nice square cut pieces. Do a look on them. Take the small piece here. All right, smell it. Ooh, that's interesting. I got to smell it in the bag. Okay, I definitely smell raspberries out of the bag. The little piece, I, I smell the pepper more, but when I'm smelling inside the bag, it's like straight up raspberry. It, you know what it smells like? It smells like raspberry fruit leather. That is going to be really interesting. All right, well, I'm going in for this. I'm going to obviously edit the video so you'll hear me slobbering and chewing for the next uh, you know, two minutes. But here we go. All right. Well, that is, that's pretty interesting. So I definitely taste the raspberry. It tastes like uh, it tastes like fresh raspberry juice. Um, I'm not really getting the chipotle. Chipotle is a very specific flavor, and it's not really presenting itself there. It is a little bit sweeter, but it's not like it's not candy. You know what I mean? Like um, I think last month they did the uh, candied bacon. That's like having dessert. That is super super sweet. This is just very subtle, a subtle sweetness and a real raspberry flavor, which is really nice on top of just you know regular beef. But actually, before I go, I'm going to try this one as well. We'll see the sesame uh, teriyaki. Let's see what this has to offer here. All right. 
So, I can see like garlic or something all coating these uh, pieces. Actually, let me smell. Ooh, dropping it everywhere. Let me take just one of these smaller pieces here. That should be enough. All right, this one is also way more um, moist. You know, it's kind of sticky. Oh, man. Oh, that smells so good. Let me see if it's the same on just the meat. Yes, it is. So that smells... My table's clean, by the way. Oh, my God. It smells like the most amazing, like, Asian soup. I smell the ginger. I smell, like, teriyaki sauce. I smell um, the garlic. Very complex. Very wonderful smell. So I'm very excited to eat this. The other one was a little bit more... Unlike a traditional, you know, dry beef jerky, but this is definitely like moister. So here we go. Yeah, that is uh, that's exactly what you would expect if you looked at this picture. All right, it tastes like a wonderful dipping sauce. I actually do taste the uh, the sesame seed. Um, that might have been what's actually floating on top of these pieces, as opposed to garlic, which I thought it was originally. Um, but yeah, I get a little bit of sesame, mostly that that good kind of rich, salty teriyaki flavor. But again. Gotta watch the uh, the sodium level. I don't even look at it on this one yet. 290 milligrams um, for half the bag, so that's 13%. Well, really, it's 26% of your daily salt intake. But anyway, that is it. Um, very happy with the box. This is gonna last me even longer than it normally does. <laughs> now, normally, if I wasn't on a diet, I'd eat a meat stick and probably half a bag of one of these uh, these bags right off the bat after making the video. Um, but now. I'm going to close up the meat stick and I'm just going to, you know, call that a little snack. That's, uh, that's about it. Uh, so this will definitely be stretched out. Christina loves this stuff too. So, you know, half this, of course, will go to her. Um, but it's just nice. It's just really nice. Actually, you know, to, I'm mentioning it now. This is totally random. Nothing to do with this at all. But I got some, uh, like, uh, string cheese. You know, remember like when you're a kid and you get mozzarella string cheese? I, I don't know, Poly, I guess was the brand, or Poly something. Anyway, uh, I picked up like a cheap pack from Walmart. And it was half... Mozzarella, at least this is what it looked like. Half mozzarella, half cheddar, right? Uh-uh-uh, it was not. It was all mozzarella, and the orange part of it was dyed. I don't know why. I have no idea. Of course, my fault for not reading the front. Uh, it literally just says colored mozzarella. What is the point of that? Clearly, as a consumer, looking through the clear part of the bag, you see half orange, half white. You assume it's two different cheeses. I was wrong for assuming, and you know what that makes me. So anyway, <laughs> that, just an aside, totally random, but that was kind of annoying. But hey, I like mozzarella anyway, so. And these are actually a little bit smaller, so it's nice. I don't have to, like, save a half a stick or something. I can just eat the whole thing. But anyway, that is it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know your food pet peeves out there. There's a lot of just uh, deceitfulness in the food industry. You think you're getting some, and you're not, right? Happens all the time. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, uh, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.